Okay, folks. This is a uh, Captain Buster. Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. <clears throat> Got another teachable moment for you. Years ago, I was down at Savannah River Plant, and it was I was driving the dogs, so I was out in the woods, and I run up on my one of my best friends, Bill Shiver. We all called him Shive. And um, so we just got together and we was driving. And uh, we come out the woods on the road. We, of course, we were hollering, but we don't want to get shot down there. We don't get shot anywhere. So anyway, we was hollering. We walked down on this big dirt road. And right, right before we got the road, we looked, and there was this great big old fella. He was bigger than me. And he was leaning against a pine tree. It was one of those um, longleaf pines. And there must have been that much pine straw down below that tree. And he was leaning back and his mouth was gapped open. People, he was gone. Guns shooting all around him. Dogs running all around him. And this man, sleep. Well, old Shive now, boy, he was something. He, uh... He went running over there. I said, Shy, leave that man alone. But he ran over there and he took his gun, stole his gun, eased over there about five, six, seven yards, leaned the shotgun against the tree. Then he come back and he got this rifle, but he was shooting a A5 round. He got about this far from that pole fella sitting there and he goes, boom, shot up in there. And then he hollers, look out, look out, there he comes, there he comes. People, it scared that man so bad that he fell over on his side. And he was running on his side. He wasn't going nowhere, but he was trying. And he had his feet going and he had his hand going. He was throwing pine straw five yards. He was just churning, but he couldn't go nowhere. And I, I said, Lord, I hope that fella don't jump up and both of us, but he, he sit up and he was blinking his eyes trying to figure out what in the world was going on. And that crazy shive says, need to stay awake on your stand, buddy. And so we went walking off and I could feel the hair standing up on the back of my neck. And he says, he hollered back at that fella, he says, your shotgun's leaning against a pine tree over there. I said, you need to stay awake. And we walked down on that road went walking down the road and I could feel the hair standing up on the back of my neck. Now if that fella had wanted to get us, he could have jumped up, but we wasn't looking back, and grabbed that gun and shot up in the air and we'd have both passed out. But anyway, teachable moment. If you're going to get up and go hunting, especially with dog hunters and man driving, they out there working so hard to run you a deer don't go to sleep on the stand, because somebody like Shy may be around and scared a half, scared a monkey out of you. Okay, and let me tell you about Shy. Shy, he, uh, he used to be really wild, but uh, the Lord blessed me, and uh, I was able to talk to him, and we led him to the Lord, and he became a Baptist preacher. Yes, he was Baptist preacher serving the Lord and he come down with that Lou Gehrig's disease a ALS I think it's called and he died several years ago but one of the last conversations I had with him I said now Shive I says if I get to heaven before you do I said I'll give you my word I'll meet you at the gate I said now I want you to do the same for me I'll never forget it he says you got it so he beat me there I'm, sort of looking forward to seeing him again. All right, another teachable moment from Captain Buster.